Oh, there we go. Take, Take notes, notes, Krista. Krista. Thank you so much. What is this frizziness right now? Shh, behave yourself, we're in London. People love you and your audience loves you, but at some point, throw away your cue cards and talk from the heart. So I'm just waiting for Gary to get ready for bed. We came back from Mimi and Alex's flat and it was such a great evening that I feel like just dug deeper into everything. I feel like it was a great preparation for tomorrow. I'm super, super excited. I was just getting ready for bed and I actually wanted to show you guys this Viva. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen this brand. I've featured it a few times. So first of all, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and collaborating with me. What I love is the fact that I didn't even notice but it is actually a London based skincare company which is amazing it's basically a natural no synthetic fragrances no synthetic chemicals that are added to the products these are two products that I've been using for the past I've been testing it for the past probably three months this is a night oil that I use. It's a restorative oil serum and the founder is this young woman Emma who just wanted to create something that's safe but yet has active ingredients that are effective for your skin so the first thing is this restorative oil serum it's with retinol and frankincense which is like their main ingredients key ingredients but it also has macadamia oil so a lot of really great ingredients it really helps with just like kind of plumping the skin and the radiance i usually apply four to five drops of this in my palm you actually have to shake it and it's actually pink which is really cute i also like to use this when i have my gua sha but i forgot it so so i just like to press it in uh even just using your hands to give just a little lift you know a little like mm, 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 mm. so this is just a great product that really soaks right in and it's thin frankincense which is a Korean ingredient it's a great anti-inflammatory and it helps with redness that i often experience especially when it's cold outside so that's kind of what made me go and explore this product and then the retinol is a form of vitamin a which is great for helping with any signs of anti-aging and fine lines and then basically just gonna help seal the deal with this one this is also another product from their line and this is a honey and coconut hydrating lip balm it actually has also a willow bark extract that is great for exfoliation honey is a great antibacterial and nourishing ingredient so it will help also with this and i've been actually also using it for a little double up as a highlighter but i'm not gonna do it right now because i'm going to sleep i don't need a highlighter if you guys are interested in checking out these products they are available actually ship worldwide and you can go to visviva skincare.com i love supporting women that are entrepreneurs and starting all these really awesome and ethical companies that are great for environment and great for us women for any of you guys that are looking to get into more natural skincare this is a great option out there that you can check out i'm ready to go to sleep and pump myself up and hype myself up for the most amazing event tomorrow crossing my fingers okay today is the day i woke up <laughs> <laughs> with a sore throat and running nose so that's fun today's saturday my meetup is in i don't know very soon i'm gonna go get a blow dry now maybe some tea and try to get some medicine for myself and that's it kids at home everyone's sick of course because when we leave everyone gets sick okay today i need to be focused i was really 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 stressed out and nervous yesterday to a point where like i cried i think like three or four times yesterday <laughs> everything like kind of aggravated me i definitely think that it's time for a little rest after this that was oh. such a good time hello good morning how are you me yeah you yeah i woke up sick oh shit Too much? What? Yeah, I don't know, I like it. But it's gonna be with my bright brown suede boots. Too much. Well. 
think so? Yeah. All right, Krista, is it too much? <laughs> ah. Me not talk to you? No. Oh. They <laughs> said don't talk to me. I was like, okay. Oh. Hello. It's Paul. Hi, Paul. Nice to see you. Go upstairs. So, how did you sleep? Okay. I kept waking up a bunch of times because I was like, what time is it? I thought everyone left already. <laughs> Why do you always have a fear of people leaving you? I don't know. Something happened in your childhood. Something you happened. Want to talk to me about? Emergency Hello. situation. Good morning. Hello. Hello. It was Valeria, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Okay, doing something. I wasn't part of the plan. I'm running to get myself a top or something because I really don't like my outfit. I was in like a weird mood yesterday and I bought like something that I feel like was a little pretentious looking for a talk so I'm going to just get like a sweater and no one knows this way I'm also gonna have a little more time for myself which is all I've been trying to get for this past few days so who sorry so who's going there? yeah where do you need me do I need her? No. yeah wait at all or <laughs> <laughs> in general <laughs> you okay Guys, let's just talk about this really quickly. In yeah. general, once Valeria arrives, ideally if there's a back door or some kind of a service entrance, that's mm -hmm. ideally where I want her to go through. And guys, if I'm seen by people, I want all of you to jump in front of me and do a cute Because if God forbid someone takes a picture of me, it's going to ruin everything. You know what? You keep, you keep laughing. One day you're going to be thankful for how crazy I am. Just like everybody. <laughs> Protect me with your bodies. <laughs> I'm gonna take my. Yeah, the juice is flowing. I'm probably gonna use the wrong amount of money. Who cares about me being sick? My skin looks bomb. You look really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. When do we need to leave? Um, she said, can we leave for uh, 12? Yeah, it will be good. Okay. So, right now I'm just waiting for Valeria to finish getting ready for the meetup. Gary and Krista and Chantel and Paul already went to the venue to check it out and get everything set up and make sure all like the lighting is good. And then I'm gonna film Valeria on her way to the event. <sighs> There's a lot of people going now and we're like so excited to meet you guys. It's um, it's a little surreal. So, is everybody excited? Yes. I'm excited. Paul flew here from Geneva. To be a part of this. That's Paul. That's Paul. <laughs> and that's Paul over there. We're at like 336 and counting. and counting tickets sold. And I have a feeling actually more people will come in addition to that. It's cool. It's it's cool. It's kind of scary. I won't lie. I guess I won't tell Valeria this, but I'm more concerned about her. Not concerned because I know she's going to murder it. Just, I know that she's a little anxious and nervous right now, which is completely understandable because nobody could have foreseen any of this stuff coming, but I'm just, you know, I want her to hold tight and I keep giving her pep talks, so I'm trying. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not it's more like I'm excited than nervous, you know? I love seeing her shine. Like, I love seeing her doing her thing. 
I love seeing her being put into this situation where she's not comfortable and I love seeing her just push through it and come out the other side just winning it. Yeah. So no, I'm excited. And Chantal, thank you. You're awesome. You came from an island. I did. That's I amazing. I still can't believe we bumped into you. I know. <laughs> that was crazy. Me and Emma have such a good friendship. When she told us that, oh, yeah, there's like someone else is going to be helping us with the, you know, with, with shooting and with the videography. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? In London? Like, I was like, Emma, wow, you're so international. <laughs> you're so exotic. <laughs> you have all these connections all over the world. Is this the main entrance here? I, I believe so. about when she sees this. I'm getting kind of scared, guys. We can't let Valeria see this room. I'm fine. I'm scared in a good way. I use my fear and it fuels me. I forgot to update that other stories didn't accept credit cards, so I couldn't buy anything. So I just put something together. White pants, Gary's shirt to make me feel powerful. And this jacket by Smith, which is a Canadian company. I know it looks like it ripped, but this is the style. We will have to attach it properly. Uh, we're sniffling, coughing, but are super excited. Oh, the sun is shining. I feel like yesterday, the podcast that I had a talk with uh, Mimi and Alex kind of reminded me of why I do what I do. And it just makes me feel better about today. I think that sometimes we make everything so much bigger in our heads. I feel like I was on this mindset where, you know, I can't screw up and I'm this expert of God knows what. Well, I'm not an expert. I never want to be an expert. I'm just going to share my story a little bit and, and laugh and cry and hopefully clap and be happy and just have an amazing day. Let's do this. I think I got everything. I hope you did. Ready, ready, ready. Krista and Gary ordered us an Uber because... They don't trust us to leave by ourselves. It's a good point. Yeah, I agree. All right. How you feel? I feel Gucci. How do you feel? I feel Prada. <laughs> this has more space than my living room. Yeah, it's a living room. Yes, please. Take me to chair. I don't know what I'm going to say. Anna's in the house. <laughs> Just do a couple of cartwheels. Come on, London! You can do better! Every time I London. Oh my god, you should do karaoke. <laughs> Get it started? Yeah. I just, I'm, I'm just crazy when it comes to all these little details, and now I'm even more crazier because before when it was just business, it's one thing, but now it's like, it's glaring, so I want to make sure she's okay and she's comfortable and she's, you know, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm nervous to make sure she's okay. That's it. Anyway, I gotta go check out some more stuff. Okay. Is it someone? I don't know. Should I text Gary? Yeah. Let me just call uh, one him. One second. Just sir. a second. Sure, sure. Is this so awkward? No, oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh my god, this is embarrassing now. Hey babe. Hello. Why don't you come on inside? Oh, guys, thank you. That's so fun. Hello. <laughs> this is Emma. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you. Oh my Hello. I can love you. Oh my god. 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 Oh Let's take a few, yeah? yeah oh, yeah, he knows. Yeah, let me yeah. train him. I'll train him once. Well. Okay, I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been so fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, can see you. I know, it's so weird, right? It's just so weird. You know, yesterday we met like other friends that I know from online. And when I saw them, I was like, oh, that's how people feel. I'll <laughs> see you guys in a bit. Could you guys yeah, just wait right here and then we're going to start soon. Okay, thank you. You're good? Yeah. 
Now, babe. I, I almost want... started crying. Okay, I don't want you to trip out when you see the room, okay? Just don't, don't be, don't like, it's okay. Everything's good. Why would you say everything. that? I'm just telling you, it's bigger than I thought it would look, and it's just a little, you know, this is where the security is going to be. We're going to be. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Look at Oh, Valeria. Wait. I'm freaking out. I'm like this shaking. Is so this I'm like room. shaking. Okay, so this Paul, so I decided crazy. I will let her see the time. I think that's the right idea. Yeah. What? Oh, you weren't gonna? Oh my god, look at me next to Earl. Oh, oh my, you're Earl. gonna be up on these walls, Hi, Valeria. Earl. This is beautiful. This is insane. I thought we were gonna be at like a YMCA or something. <laughs> a conversation with Valeria Lipovetsky. <laughs> okay. Well, you're gonna be standing up there. That's perfect. Yeah, it's great. Where are the chairs? They're gonna bring the chairs a little later. But let's check, you know what? I'll show you where like the room is where you're gonna oh, get I'm changed. Lying. This is not it. What is this for? Fuller. Let them rush you. Do you need a hand, Emma? Yeah, yeah, I'm though. okay. I need a hand. I'm just gonna <laughs> fall this apart right now. Now it's it's bigger than it looks. You gotta get her face. I'm her literally face. <laughs> This is 350 chairs, babe. Grandma's like, what? <laughs> Yo, it's getting real. This is really. <laughs> this is so crazy, Valeria. This is real. Yeah, that's my Hi, Chantel. How are you? Good. Can you guys this way? Yeah, I'm gonna step this up for a second. I love your outfit. It's so nice. Thank you. So, so I decided so nice. not to wear heels. Yeah. But does yeah. it look like it's ripped because this is like no. the style, but I wonder if we should attach it. It's cool. Okay, do you want to talk cameras? Yeah. So Gary said walk around as much as possible yep. and like go anywhere there's no rules. I was like, okay. Are you recording now? <laughs> and um, um, Okay, this is insanity. Gary, did you think this is gonna look this way? No, like show everybody. Like, look at this. Look, it's Valeria and Valeria. Valeria and Valeria. I know your shirt, so I'll be confident. Do you wear my shirt to be confident? Yeah. How did my shirt get to London? That's Gary's shirt? Yeah. It's just like pulled all the way. <laughs> That's so cute. It's my little trick. You're good, right? Alex, do you know if you would have a safety pin? I'm so proud of you. Um, shot in Thank you. Just yeah. I'm so proud of you. Do you think it's okay if I try to Skype in Jake? Yes, I'm okay. Just put the mic and then put the mic and say, Jake, say hi to everybody. That's really cute. Yeah, that is so cute. Do you feel for the photos, you want to come down here or would you rather? What do you think? I th like, I think a line is like the most organized and. Yeah. Are uh, you going to be wearing your jacket or mm -hmm. are you going to take it off? Okay, so I put it on your jacket. Okay. Say hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> hey. We're gonna go put this camera upstairs on a tripod so we can get a view of the whole audience and Valeria. Ooh. Go right. This is so cool. This is a shot. I can't believe it. What? Wow. Wow. You know what? I'm actually not as nervous as I was a few days ago. It's just like my people. And I have all my people here too. I'm so excited. We already met two girls. I have crazy like ties in my belly. Look at Krista, the boss lady. Everyone's doing such an amazing job. And we have Chantel, who's Emma's friend from England. She is from the UK, but I don't think she's from London. And she came to help and shoot. And we have Krista, who's bossing everybody around and making sure everything is on point. And then I have Gary for moral support and for everything else, because he's doing everything. He's the best. Okay, I need to breathe now. Okay, 
Yeah. So hopefully it's a nice temperature in your room, but I, we open the window, so hopefully. Well, we can practice this program. Yeah. You guys, this one girl gave, brought me a dress because she knows I like stars. Oh my god. She brought me a dress oh, with stars. Open it. She got me cat eye glasses. Oh my god, you need to wear that tomorrow. Hopefully it fits. Look like she bought this for me. Is that insane? Shut up. Is that crazy? Look at this. Nice. Oh my god, that was really. I almost cried when that girl, like. I like that so much. She also. She like, looked at me. She's like, I like 90% like of the time I'm just gonna cry and say. Oh my gosh. Do you wanna, since she's filming, come up here and mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. Don't be. You're gonna smash it. It's gonna be so good. I can't believe this is our first time doing it. It's so weird. Feeling a little bit anxious. A little bit, just a little bit. I'm like Definitely shaking. Definitely excited. Maybe it's ex like excitement. Yeah, I think it's excitement. It's just weird that everybody's here in person. And it's, like, it's so weird, weird. because we know what it's like to be like on the other side. Yeah, so I'm like trying to be level-headed, but I feel like I'm gonna black out. As long as you're holding the camera. Well, Look at I'm like shaking, out. holding. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this, Chantel. That's okay. <laughs> so awesome. Thanks for having me. So much fun. So were you were you born and raised in Jersey? Yeah, I was. And then I just went to Canada for uni mm -hmm. to study film. That's why I met Emma. Why Canada? It's like the one of the best film schools in the world. Really? That's yeah. so fun. And you and Emma were in the same class? Yeah, we met on the first day. So it's amazing like... how she's not, like, she never talks about, you know, that it was like such a big school and like such a... Just modest. Hello? Why yeah, didn't you tell me you went to like one of the best, best film schools, schools, film schools in the world? The best. Yeah. Like. That's <laughs> where I learned it all. Well, actually, that's not true. It's, I learned you it. You were good before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when she I got was. accepted to that school, I like literally like cried. I freaked out. <laughs> it was like a year intensive program for film production. Yeah. So we like our final film like made it to the last round, and so ours was one of the five like produced. So we got a whole crew together. Chantal and I wrote it, and I did the cinematography on the whole I was thing. The producer. She produced it. Watch it. And we did it in all these festivals and like... Yeah. And it won an award. The best comedy scene. Right. Excuse <laughs> me? That's so cool. Isn't that mm -hmm. nice? Yeah. No, I feel like, like you, you like, when you mention it, you're like, by the way, <laughs> that is so cool. Thanks. You practice your speech? Kind of. <laughs> this is just like under seven seconds. As it should be. That's it? What else should I say? Should I tell him I'm a twin brother? <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> See, like, I just wanted to sit in my office, drink my coffee. What the hell am I doing here? And who are you people? Who are you? I have, like, my body aches. Because you're sick? Yeah. Oh my okay. God. And excited. So together, it's, like, not a good combo. Oh, I think that we should breathe, because none of you are breathing. I just looked at all of you, and none of you are breathing. Okay, let's breathe together. One. We didn't finish counting. That's one. Right, one. How many are we doing? Three. Should we do that thing before you go on a concert where like they practice with their voice? Like, la, 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 la. Are you gonna come out with the camera? Yeah. 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 So should you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then you can pass it off to me if you like. And then I'll grab it from you. Yeah. And Ooh, I'll just we're gonna play a little. Let me maybe put this on the other side. It's like so surreal to me. And I think that yesterday when I was sitting there and I was talking about it, and I'm like, I can't believe me, me, standing on stage and speaking in front of people, or just like expressing my thoughts and stuff, and people care. It was, it's so different than just the way I was as a kid, like, and not in a million years that I would think that this is what I'm going to be doing, ever. Crazy. You told me a few days ago, you told me like such a good metaphor to the way I feel when you said you're like in a cocoon and you already like you turning into a butterfly and that cocoon is like you're trying so hard to stay in it but it's like it hurts, it's uncomfortable and you're like breaking free, you know? And this is exactly how I feel. I feel like it's just the why I'm so a little bit like all over the place. It's like I'm I'm trying to find my place in this new in this new identity of mine that I love. That this is the identity that I wanted to find always. Like I never thought that I'm gonna become this person. 
you know, like I feel like I'm becoming the woman that I wanted to be. I just want to know one thing. Yes. Did I help do this? Of course. Okay. I wouldn't be able to. So do now any I know my that. purpose. Because growing up thinking, yeah, I'm special. I know there's something about me. There's something about me. This was it. But you're not only doing that with me. You're doing it with a lot of people. That's fine. <laughs> you're the one I care most about. You and PK, I love PK. PK is the best. Uh, so here we are. You know what I feel like? I feel like, they have, you know those documentaries, like when Britney Spears would go and they'd all like pray and... Did you just say Britney Spears? I know Spears? exactly what he's talking about. Oh, was it the, somebody else? Like Michael Jackson team did it, like oh, I think all concerts do it. Yeah. Like before they go out, they do like a circle <laughs> in like the back a, room. A little yeah. huddle. This is our this is our huddle. We'll just keep it around the table. Yeah. I think I think, I think I'm okay with that. You guys have obviously put in a ton of work in this. This is uh, this is something like super special, and I'm still just in complete shock and disbelief that this is happening. Needless to say, that I'm proud of Valeria, but I want you guys to know that I'm super proud of you. You guys have been doing such incredible work. Today. Don't say anything too nice. <laughs> yeah. We might guys, cry. <laughs> I want you guys to take a moment. And I want you to enjoy each of these moments. I don't want you to think about what's coming. I don't want you to think about what's happened. I want you to enjoy what's going on right now, literally from second to second. This isn't like a concert. This is, she's, she's influencing people and she's improving lives and seeing the response that we're getting from the audience. I, I want you guys to understand that as much as it's Valeria, it's, it's, it's all of us. It's all yes, of us. We're all doing this. We can't, we can't do this without you guys. Just, it, would, it would not and will not happen without you. So this is your event, very much so. Just because you're not wearing a navel-themed uh, uh, Name? blazer. Which I should have known. I would have gotten you. Your yeah. Just because you're not wearing one doesn't mean that you're not up there on stage uh, with Valeria. You are literally on stage with Larry. You are, you are literally in every frame of every video, of every body clip, of every picture. It's you guys that are in it. This brand isn't just one person. I want you guys to chill. I want myself to chill. Just keep thinking about this and really have fun. And I'm gonna tell you, like, once you get out there and once we're in front of that crowd, I promise you the first like couple of seconds, it'll be, you'll be nervous. But I assure you, it's gonna turn into something like super fun. And you're gonna get addicted to it. And you guys are gonna be calling me, when's the next meetup? Gary, when's the next meetup? When are we doing the next meetup? Honestly, I just wanna add that it's so amazing that for us being like these young girls, to leave such a mark on people's lives. Like I just want you to remember that because although for us, you know, sometimes it's such a daunting, it's a lot of work and, you know, we think we're just posting videos out there of putting makeup or dancing kids, but we're like making someone's day and we're like motivating someone and it's just super, super cool. And all of these people are here to just say thank you to the product that we keep showing them and you know making them laugh because this is not always an easy world to be in so i'm so so proud of you i'm proud of you thank you it really is such a team effort i think that with time which just it's going to bring us closer and closer and closer and we're just going to take over the world and turn that camera on yourself i want, I want everybody to see the tears <laughs> yeah, <All right>. yeah. <laughs> are we feeling good yes Woo ha! What do they do? Woo. <laughs> Go Valeria! <laughs> Yippee! Okay. Okay. I don't know if that's what happens. Oh, I got an injury. Chris, I'm I just gave the security, like the, the close security guy, a pep talk. I told him, I want you to, if there's a problem, you need to pounce. You're a ninja. You're a ninja force. I just want to make sure all our phones are on silent or like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I wish I had two hands right now. Oh. Give me, let me help you. Okay. Can I have a little bit too? Okay. Thank you. Get in my belly. I'm nervous. I'm going to get it. Have a sip of water. She's like, she's nervous now that you're going to choke on the peanuts. That I can't help. <laughs> the door opens. I don't want you to be safe. I'm not coming out to a song, right? Maybe we took it a little too far here, no? I'm static. We're set it up. Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to stop now. Ready? No. Yeah. Why don't you call me? I'll come up. To you'll, okay, you'll listen? Yeah. Why don't I call you up to you? Okay. Guys, just go. Okay. <laughs> oh, they went. They, they listened sleep. to me. <laughs> Valeria Inc. 
I joined the team about two months ago and it's been a crazy fun adventure ever since. I wanted to mention the event has a hashtag, Valeria Meets London, so we encourage you all to post about it and we're going to be choosing some of our favorite stories and including it in the blog. So I wanted to call up Emma, who I'm sure you all recognize. Yay. That's so insane. Hi guys, how are you? Oh my god, there's so many people. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for taking time out of your weekend to come here. I'm really flustered right now, this is crazy. When I started with Valeria like almost two years ago, I knew this was going to be something special, but I had no idea how. Like crazy, this is really gonna be. So thank you so much. And um, Krista, oh, actually, I'm gonna invite someone else out. Gary Lipovetsky, please come to the stage. This is so fun. Wow. <laughs> so b before I get started, somebody really wanted to say hi. He's just, he's like, he's like calling me, he's like, you, you go, he, he called me, and he goes, okay, how long are you going to call me? I said, two hours. He said, how many minutes is that? <laughs> how many minutes? Benny? <laughs> how you feeling, son? You feel good? He's a little... He's a little nervous. Where's Jake? Jake, you want to say hi to everyone, babe? <laughs> what? Say it again? What? Hi, hi Grandma. How's my mother-in-law? How's my mother-in-law? Okay. Alright, I love you, baby. I'll talk to you soon, okay? I would like to announce Joy up on the stage to come up, uh, and I'd like Joy to say a few things, uh, things about Young Women's Trust. And I also want to point out, before Joy gets started, that thanks to all of you uh, for this awesome cause, we raised over 4,200 pounds. You didn't even know that. You didn't even know that. So I'm proud of all of you for doing this. Okay, Joy, can you please take my Hello. Sorry, I'm going to read notes off my phone because I'm really scared of talking in front of you all. Um, <laughs> my name's Joy and I work at a charity called Young Women's Trust and I'm just absolutely blown away by this donation. It really will change the lives of young women that we work with. At Young Women's Trust we believe that all young women should have the opportunity to work and thrive. Over one million young women in the UK currently are unemployed or trapped in low paid insecure work. And I forgot what I was <laughs> And so this means that they. <laughs> Are you shaking? <laughs> um, so this means that they struggle to afford basic things like food and housing, but it also means that they suffer, they're more likely to suffer from things like anxiety, low self esteem, and depression. Um, so this donation will help us to provide support services to help young women gain confidence and to find employment. And now, I am so proud to announce my lovely and amazing wife, Valeria Lindovetsky. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay, this feels so awkward. Can I have... Oh, I have... My heart is racing on another level. Um, if you guys have been part of my journey and follow me, you know that this is something that has been such a challenge for me to face. Um, but I know that I'm speaking to my people. I know that the people in this room are all on the same wave, are all with the same mindset. And I just feel like this world is a better place right now. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. It's Saturday today. I'm sure you got other things to do, so I can't even tell you how I appreciate you guys being here and spending this time with me. Before we get started, I just really wanted to 
take two deep breaths because it's something that I forgot to do today. Breathe. And I heard it's really good for you. First breath. Breathe, Emma. I know you need it. I know a lot of you um, came alone. Some came with your spouses, your parents. So the first thing that I wanted to do is to connect a little bit more with each other. And if you can just turn to each other and for two seconds and just answer three questions. Your name, your favorite ice cream, and this one is, the third one is a hard one, so make sure that you think about it a little bit. Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? <laughs> okay, ready? Turn to each other, please, and then switch. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so diving into my story, um, I had a pretty good childhood. Um, I think that's where my optimistic mindset started. But I was really, really invisible. Um, because I wanted to, because that felt to me like my comfort zone. Um, I felt that I didn't really have much to say or contribute, and I just prefer to not be noticed. I think that for my mother, who was a very independent, strong, out there woman, it was very difficult to see that her own child suffered from this deep insecurities at such a young age. So the turning point for me was when I had my bat mitzvah. And I feel like my mother always really tried to put me in situations where I was out there and hoping that that kind of will trigger something in me to feel more confident. It didn't. She got a photographer to come and take photos of me. And I think that that day when we were doing the photo shoot, she noticed something a little different about me. She noticed that for that moment, I kind of escaped that invisibility and I was actually confident in front of the camera and shined something that obviously she hasn't seen before. So she kind of built this whole master plan to immerse me more into that world of fashion and modeling and to throw me into a world that will really challenge my insecurities. Modeling gave me the opportunity to travel the world at a really young age, which made me feel independent and strong. Also what modeling made me do is face my insecurities over and over again. So my mom's master plan worked. What ended up happening is that I discovered that I actually had the power over my thoughts, I had the power over my actions, I had the power of what I put out there to the world, and that was a huge revelation to me. And I think a lot of us don't understand how much of it we are not holding in our own hands. So that power came through self-awareness. So I went and pursued it. YouTube made me stand up there and listen to my own voice over and over again and seeing how, I was, how I, was, I was acting, how I was speaking, hearing my grammar mistakes, hearing my accent. And it was so, oh, oh my God, you know when you just like watch your own stuff and you just cringe because you just like take yourself apart with all these extra things you could have done to make it better? You are your own worst critic and we all know it. So it was very difficult, but it also was really exciting because in that uncomfortable, awkward feeling, I knew that I will be able to reach that next level, that next layer of insecurities that I have to feel. Because no one else will make me shoot a video. No one else will be constantly beside me, rooting for me, saying, you're doing great. Although I do have my own version of Kris Jenner over there. Putting yourself out there, letting other people watch you, judge you, criticize you, made me go even deeper into myself because if something bothered me, I knew that you can't do anything with that person, but something bothered me for a reason, bless you. I started really going into myself saying, why is that person that you don't know bothering you? What is in their response or comment triggered something inside of me? And that is still
still something that's happening until this day. So being that practicing and consistently that self-awareness made me realize and find more tools to find my own voice, to own who I was, and to be comfortable with being who I am and not what other people expected me to be. And this is me sharing my journey of becoming, becoming the woman that I always wanted to be. We were just backstage with Gary, and I was telling him the fact that this is happening is so surreal to me. I don't think you guys can understand how, how comfortable I felt just playing small and just hiding behind things and people and opinions. And I never thought that this day will come where I'll be able to stand up and, and just believe in what I'm saying and bring value to other people. And that feeling is absolutely amazing. So I know that we all have it in us and I see all of your faces. Um, I speak to you guys every single day. I creep the hell out of your accounts. I know you guys are so special and you are, you are on your own journeys, and I love witnessing that. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'll find out so you yes. can see me. Hi. Um, thank you for being here today. Um, I've been self-employed for seven years, and I regularly have complete burnouts of energy burnout. How do you deal with those, or do you have them? I definitely have them. And I was just discussing it uh, last night that I feel like I'm actually right now at a point where I feel burnt out. I mean, just yesterday, I think like I cried 16 times. Uh, because for me, the way I cope with things is that I get overwhelmed and I cry like it's nobody's business. So I cried a lot yesterday. And I think that it happens to all of us, especially today. There's so much to do, so little time and we want so much for ourselves. So I think just like trying to stay in tune with how you feel and know when to take those breaks. I think I always remind myself that, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup and nothing is really worth your health. So just, you know, maybe going a little bit slower for a little while and gaining all that, you know, a little bit of energy back, and then you can sprint again. We always try to keep moving, and sometimes it's better for us to walk, and sometimes it's time to run. So I think it's very important to, again, use that self-awareness, use that intuition, use that real, honest, brutal talk to your, with yourself, and be like, listen, it's time to just chill, like relax, drink a little lemonade, and enjoy your life. So um, that's really my only advice. I wish there was some magic pill we could take that, I mean, that was not a good, <laughs> it's not where I was going with this, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rebecca. I love your hands. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so first of all, um, thank you so much for being such a good role model for us young women. I really appreciate that. Um, the first question is, what do you think is the most valuable lesson that your mother's taught you mm -hmm. that you use in your business? And the second one is more of a curiosity, but we've never heard you speak in her. And I was wondering if you could maybe say a sentence. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Are you Israeli? No, I permit you. The most valuable lesson my mother gave me that I applied to business, you said? Um, I think that just seeing her never give up. And I mean, now that I think about it, she went through an immigration at 21 from Russia to Israel. I was two years old. And she moved to a country with no money, with no language, with nothing. And I just remember like sleeping in different like bars and restaurants she used to work. And it was such a powerful, beautiful journey that we went through together. She was a kid herself. She didn't know anything. And it's a lesson that she taught me through just her own journey, I think that she really taught me that we create our own future with the author of our own books, and it's something that's very important to remember. So she wasn't a victim of her circumstances. She could have easily, you know, just said, listen, it's really hard, I don't speak the language, and I don't have any money, and I have to think about this two-year-old, and I just, you know, and she just never, never gave up. She, she always found a way. So I think that's something that I always kind of remind myself, that there's always a way, no matter how, you know, hard it seems and feels. Hey, guys, what's up? 
כל כך כיף לי לראות אתכם היום פה. אני מודה לכולם שאתם פה איתי. The end. It just means, hi guys, thank you so much for being here, and I appreciate it. The end. I just have a question. Basically, I'm studying right now, and I'm also starting a startup. I had a situation a year ago where I had a best friend, and we were close as sisters, basically, and that situation kind of backfired, and um, yeah, we're not friends anymore due to some reasons. But this person is still trying to like kind of sabotage around me, like with other people. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. I'm just wondering, how do you... I'm like, so... No, it's okay. It's okay, take your time. And I'm just wondering, like, what kind of advice do you have to people like that that try to bring negativity into your life and you just want to move forward and want the best for the people around you? Um, first of all, I am so proud of you for your courage. I know it takes a lot of courage to stand up and you know, talk about something that's obviously so, it hurts you. Um, and I think that it's gonna take time for you to heal from it, because I think there's nothing worse than a betrayal from someone that is very close to you. And unfortunately, there are so many people out there that just don't understand don't understand themselves and don't understand life and just conducting themselves in such a negative way. So I think that the thing that really you can do, the only thing that you have control over is your own journey. Um, I don't think there's, I wouldn't want you to waste your precious time thinking about how to make them realize and see how wrong they are. Um, I want you to focus on your own growth and on your own thing. And I think that a lot of people see that. I mean, other people that she talks to, people surrounding, like, they see when there's a toxic person around. So you don't need to point that out. You just really be strong-minded and focus on your own. And honestly, karma is such a bitch. So she will, he or she, I mean, they'll find their way and lessons in life. I think that just for you, even looking at that person and maybe sending even compassion because for someone to you know be toxic like that it means that they're hurting inside just remember that and you keep doing your own thing hi hi um i just wanted to say you're such an inspiration and it's so lovely to be here today thank you so much you're so sweet you're crying well i'm gonna cry you're gonna make me cry yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm her mom. She brought me here. So I'm, I'm having you too. I'm coming for you. I'm her mom and she brought me here. Your mom? I didn't know why I was coming. <laughs> I hope you have this appointment. I'm Thank you. Thank you for coming to your mama. <laughs> question. I think that refers back to that playing small, you know, because I, um, I don't want to make other people feel like I'm bragging or I'm, you know, more special than them. Um, I think that's constantly this thing in my head where actually for the longest time I was priding myself, being like, Valeria, you're so humble, good for you. And it actually became, a, like, became an enemy of mine now because I feel like I'm, I started putting, putting myself in such, 
like I, I started playing small so much to make other people feel okay about themselves that it's like I'm not living to my full potential and I'm not saying the things that I want to say and I'm not putting myself out there the way I want to put out there. And something that I've noticed that um, when I stopped thinking about it and stopped playing small for other people to feel good and I started showing up and doing my thing, it actually affected the people around me for the better because then it's like shows them that they you know can step up and do their own thing so it's like by showing my little shine it's like i gave them their okay to show their own shine and it's just like this beautiful gift that you give other people i know it feels weird sometimes and you don't want to be judged by you know just owning who you are but you'll be surprised how many people you will inspire and motivate by being your best, like, shiniest self. I love the word shiny. great questions a lot of really good engagement from the audience and I just can't I can't even like begin to describe how enthusiastic we all are and how amazing this is and like look people are bringing their kids they're bringing their kids is that it Authentic, okay. <laughs> when you're ready, yeah, you okay. So beautiful, like I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Deep breaths. You Deep need breaths. to post that one. It's so cute. Let's do like we're laughing at each other. Like <laughs> we're like crying a lot. <laughs> That's how you fake it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy I got to meet you. Mm. Sorry, this is the last one. Yeah, right now. Yes, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> so I love you don't it. Need okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, this is so, this is so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, last but not exactly. least. Certainly not least. 
Oh, are you alright? <laughs> 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 okay, why are you on the floor? I'm so happy I didn't wear heels. I need to stretch. <laughs> Babe, we gotta get out of here because these people okay, are gonna go. witch us soon. Okay, let's go. I'll crawl out.